Rebecca, and in today's lesson we'll be talking about some more commonly confused words in English. Uh, these words are normally called homonyms. A homonym is a word which sounds the same as another word, but has a completely different meaning and very often a different spelling. For you, it's really important to be able to differentiate between these words because when you make a mistake like that, they're usually pretty basic words. So you want to make sure that you don't lose points in an essay or on an exam for making a mistake with words that are fairly simple. Okay? So let's look at two that are often confused by ESL students and sometimes even by native English speakers. Okay? Here we are. The first one is whose and the second one is also whose. So as you can see, they sound pretty much the same, but the meaning is completely different. The first one, whose, is a contraction of two words, who is, right? But when we say it together and quickly, we say whose. Examples of this can be questions or statements. By questions, I mean something like this. Who's the boss? Who's your friend? Who's in charge of this department? In each of these examples, which were questions, we were really saying, who is in charge? Who is your friend? Correct? We could also take a sentence and use whose. For example, he's the man who is in charge. He's the man who's in charge of this department. He's the man who is or who's in charge of this department. Okay? So, that's the first one. The second one is also a relative pronoun. It's called whose. And this one refers to uh, something that belongs to someone. For example, it show, in other words, it's showing possession. For example, whose book is this? Whose house is this? Whose car is this? Okay? I'm the man whose um, car is parked over there. Okay? You see examples again with questions or with sentences. All right? Now we're going to do a little quiz. I'm going to say a few sentences and you tell me which one of these is being used in the example. All right? Let's start with the first one. Who's the general manager of that company? Who's the general manager of that company? Okay? Which one is it? Do you know? Who's the general manager? The first one. That's right. Okay? Who's the general manager? Who is the general manager? Very good. Let's take the second one. Let me introduce Mr. Williams, who's the main speaker at the conference. Let me introduce Mr. Williams, who is the main speaker at the conference. Which one was that? Do you know? Okay, if you chose the first one, you're right again. Let me introduce Mr. Williams, who's or who is the main speaker at the conference. Okay, let's take one more. They're announcing the names of the passengers whose suitcases were lost. They're announcing the names of the passengers whose suitcases were lost. Which one this time? Do you know? What do you think? We're trying to show possession. They're announcing the names of the passengers whose suitcases were lost. The suitcases that were lost belonged to the passengers, so we'll use this one. Okay? Good. If you got all of those right, you're on the right track. Keep going. If you get confused, don't worry. It happens. Just practice a lot. Write out different examples. Get someone to check if you have a teacher nearby or an English speaker who you know. All right? And you'll be able to get it. When I come back in just a moment, I'm going to give you one last one, which is sort of like a review quiz. So maybe you can grab a piece of paper and write it out. And I'll be right back. See you in a minute.
Okay. Are you ready for a little quiz on what we've just done? Yes? Okay. So write this down. Who's the person whose picture is in the paper? Who's the person whose picture is in the paper? One more time. Okay. Who's the person whose picture is in the paper? While you write that down, I'm going to write it on the board and then we can compare. Okay? Do you have what I have? Let's review. Who's the person? As in, who is the person? Who's possessive? Whose picture is in the paper? All right? So the first one was who's, who is the person whose picture is in the paper? When we say paper, of course, we mean newspaper. Lots of times we don't say newspaper because it's a bit longer word, so we just say paper, and it means newspaper. It's also kind of good for pronunciation practice, right? Who's the person whose picture is in the paper? You might want to try that. Want to try it again? Who's the person whose picture is in the paper? Good. All right. So I hope this lesson has helped you. If you have any questions about this lesson or anything else to do with English, I'll be happy to help you. Please come and visit us at our website, www.ingvid.com. See you there. Bye for now.